This video will cover the main concepts of Norman tangential coordinate system for evaluating with the concepts of force is equal to mass times acceleration. That means the acceleration and the force related to the normal and the tangential coordinate system. So the equation just stated that a small vehicle enters the top A of the circular path with a horizontal velocity V0 and then gathers the speed as it moves down the path. So determine an expression for the angle beta which locates the point where the vehicle leaves the path and becomes a projectile. Then evaluate your expression for V0 is 0 and then neglect friction and then treat the vehicle as a particle. So the equation is stated in this way. That means the positions of the particle related to the given path will depend on its initial velocity to enter the position A. That means from the straight line to the circular path just like this. So when the particle just enters with the small velocity, so it will attach with the guide for the long time. And then if it is just enters with a high velocity, so it will become completely projectile within some point. So this just let's see the comparison. If this particle just enters with the minimum velocity, let's see what will happening though, just like this. So it will just go until some point and then we'll try to continue and then its path will be just like this one. And then when there is a medium velocity, that means the entering velocity is medium. So it is projectile will be just like this one. So let's just see the maximum expression for this angle beta. That means the particle will attach with the guide. And then the last one, if the particle is just moving with high speed, so it will have just launched into this way. That means the path will be this. So it will immediately leave the guide places here. So the question is just to evaluate the maximum angle beta, which the particle or the vehicle can just leave the guide and then become a projectile motion. So in this case, if we look just for the minimum velocity, that means it will have a maximum length just like this one. So the particle will just leave the guide at this point. That means it will have a maximum angular position. And then from the medium part, it will be between them. And then if it has a maximum value, the angle theta will be minimum. So this is just the equation. And then let's see the solution part. So the first part is to evaluate the beta in general case. And then the second case is to evaluate beta when V0 is zero. So those are the required parameters. Now let's start to solve the system by drawing the layouts of the free body diagram in the general case. That means in the general case, when the particle reaches at any angular distance theta, least this is a theta, and then we know this is R, and then the particle will reach over here, and then it will cover this distance. So this distances will be, as we know that this is R times D theta, or we can simply say that this is DS, that means the position or the distance covered from the initial point A to any angular distance theta. Now this is the tangential direction and then perpendicular to that we have a normal direction just like this. So from the normal tangential coordinate system principle we know that submission of force in the tangential direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the tangential direction. In this case the system is on the vertical plane. So if it is a vertical plane, so we'll have the effects of the gravity. So mass times gravity will be in this direction at the angle theta. So if this is the case, now let's just evaluate what the tangential and the normal accelerations will be here. So before that, the overall tangential force exerted on the system is only due to the gravity. There is no any external force rather than the gravity. So that means in the tangential parts of the weight, will be mg times sine theta. So the sine components of the weight is the tangential force, so which is equal to mass times acceleration in the tangential direction. So mass will cancel out this, and then finally we'll get the tangential acceleration is g times sine theta. So this is one equation. That means the tangential acceleration is increased or decreased based on the angular position theta here. 
We have a formula which can be uh, relate the velocity, the acceleration, and the distance when the acceleration is not uniform. That is, V dV is equal to A dS. This is a formula to correlate the acceleration, the velocity, and then the displacement. So this is the general form. So in this case, if we just try to write into the tangential part, that means we are just evaluating V dV is equal to A dS. In this case, V dV is equal to the acceleration is always in the tangential direction. So this is tangential acceleration times dS. So if we just integrate this both sides, then finally we can get the expression for the velocity. So V dV is equal to the integration of the acceleration in this case is G times sine theta times dS. But dS is also r times d theta it is expressed over here so which is equal to integrations of g sine theta times instead of this we can write r d theta and then let's take out the constant parts in the parts of v dv so the integrations of v dv is equal to now g and r is constant in this case, so g times r, so the integrations of sine theta d theta. Now in this case, let's just evaluate the velocity is just integrated from initial velocity v0 up to the final velocity v, and then the theta will be evaluated from 0 up to theta degree. So let's just write this one. What the integrations of v dv? It is half v square that means from v naught up to v which is equal to g times r what's the integration of sine theta the integration of sine theta is minus cos theta now the theta value is from zero up to theta so let's substitute this value so finally once you substitute that we'll get half v squared minus v naught squared is equal to g r that means in this case the negative will be written in the First portion, so minus gr times cos theta. What is the value of cos theta? Cos theta minus cos zero degree. So if you just rearrange this equation, finally you'll get v square minus v naught squared is equal to two will be in this way. So minus two gr times cos theta. The value of cos zero degree is one. So it will be minus one. And then if you rearrange this part, you'll get v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2gr in bracket 1 minus cos theta. So this is the equation which can express the velocity at any position theta. Let's call it as equation 1. Now let's try to evaluate in the normal direction. So if we take out the free body diagram on the normal direction, let's take out this part. So this is just mg in the downward direction. We know that the normal force is always toward the object. It will guide in this way. So this one will be the normal force and this is theta. So summation of force in the normal direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the normal direction. This is a normal direction and then this is in the tangential direction. So let's sum up that one. So minus n plus, uh, in this case, the normal components of the weight will be mg cos theta is equal to mass times acceleration. The normal means v squared over rho. In this case, rho is r. So v squared over r. So the normal force finally can be equal to mg cos theta minus mv square over r. If you rearrange the previous equation. Now this is equal to n is equal to m can be common. So g cos theta minus v square over r. The main concept of this question is what will happen when we just the particle leave the guide. So if the particle leave the guide, there might not be any support force. That means there might not be any n. That means n will become zero. Okay. So if n is zero, 
this equation, let's say this is equation 2, so the equation 2 will become 0. That means mass times g cos theta minus v square over r is equal to 0. So I may not have any change over this. So finally, g times cos theta minus v square over r is equal to 0. Now, let's just correlate what this function is, is happening. At which position is this happening? This position is at theta is equal to beta. Or when the maximum angle reaches, then this function will be 0. So let's just evaluate this. So g cos beta is equal to v square over r because we are substituting the value of theta into beta. So we know the value of v, which is v, in this case v squared is given us from the equation 1 over this one, so we can insert this value. This is equals to, so v naught squared plus 2 gr in bracket 1 minus cos theta. In this case, theta will be cos beta, so it will be beta over r. So this is just the overall equation. Now, in this equation, we can solve the value of beta. To solve the value of beta, we have to collect the like terms. That means the coefficients of this part. So g cos beta is equal to if you just divided the overall equations of v square into r, you will get v naught square over r plus then the, in the second part to g r one minus cos beta over r. So this r will cancel in this case. So g cos beta is equal to v naught square over r plus two g times one. So it will be 1, then 2g times cos beta minus 2g cos beta. So this part will just go into the left part. That means g cos beta plus 2g cos beta is equal to v naught square over r plus 2g. So this will become 3 g times cos beta is equal to v naught square over r plus 2g. Now cos beta is equal to cos beta is equal to v naught square over r plus 2g over 3g. So finally cos beta will become v naught square over 3g r plus 2 over 3 because g will cancel out g in this portion. So what will be beta? So beta in this case finally is equal to the cos inverse of v naught square over 3 g r plus 2 over 3. So this is our final answer for the expressions of angle beta. Now, what about for the second case? That means when the initial velocity becomes zero. Now, when the initial velocity becomes zero, so beta will become beta is equal to cos inverse of v naught in this case is zero, so zero plus two over three, it will be two over three. So, cos inverse of two over three finally is 48.2 degree. So, beta will become 48.2 degree for this specific case. So this is the overall assessment of the given problem.